Hello Iron Oaks homeowners, I'm John Ray Hans and thanks for joining me for another session with Java with John. I'm down here at our facilities and golf course maintenance facilities for a couple of reasons. First, I'd like to introduce our guest who everybody knows, Ross Buckendall, our golf course superintendent. Thank you, John. Ross, always great to have you on the show. And my man, you have been very busy lately. <laughs> if you could, just give us an update where we're at with the Lakes Golf Course and the progress that you're making there. Yeah, for sure. It's, uh, it, it's been a busy summer, you know. And as everybody can attest to, it's, it's been a warm summer. We're breaking records left and right, but things are moving along great on the Lakes Golf Course. Uh, as we're filming today, there's about two holes left. Um, on, the, on the irrigation installation. So they're kind of around the pump station area now. Uh, a little bit left on four and then uh, five and six is left. So I anticipate, you know, maybe another three weeks and they should be out of here. We'll do some punch list items and final cleanups and stuff like that. But hopefully by the end of September, it's, uh, they're out of here. Um, but uh, I'm happy with the progress. Everything is, is moving along pretty well. We have some sod areas that we need to address and touch up for sure, but uh, overall, uh, things are going to be uh, going to be in a good shape. We'll overseed, and we'll definitely have some scars, you know, showing through. But um, the undertaking that, uh, that has been accomplished, uh, I think it'll be very minimal. Well, great. Well, congratulations to you and the team putting this together. Great progress, right on time, right on budget, which is great. A little bit of cleanup. Also, we've got aside from the irrigation, you got your turf reduction going on. You're you're planting some trees. Um, the pilings are in around the shoreline. My goodness, you've been busy. <laughs> Very busy, and it, and it's it's looking amazing. Yeah, with the pilings coming in, uh, the 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 turf reduction um, has started. They're going to start planting next week. We'll start the rock after that. Uh, it'll start or start to really come together now. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's it's moving along. We got holes dug for trees already too so we're going to be planting those as soon as we get some ash and elm and, and oak trees in so hopefully plant about 30 or 40 over there and uh, yet this year and even some on the sonoran too so there's uh, there's there's a lot going on and a lot yet to to finish up before we overseed in in november awesome well congratulations and fantastic work i appreciate all the work you've put into it as well as the team here and uh, lots of accomplishments going on out there uh, I want to remind the homeowners also, you can see how busy Ross is. He didn't even talk about taking care of 45 holes of golf. You're doing this big project. Also, we're down here because the board has approved, and this is really good news for you. Yes. Um, the board has approved for us to move forward and develop a site plan, conceptual drawings, and estimated cost for the facilities and golf course area around here. Uh, for those of you that may or may not know, this is a very dilapidated area. We haven't made any improvements <laughs> except for some asphalt work and drainage work in 30 years. Yes. So we need to really improve this area um, for morale, to help with recruitment, retention, and also to uh, keep the equipment out of the yes. sun yes. and give your mechanics a good area to work in, a uh, place to keep your chemicals, storage, all that good spot. Because as you look around, you've got a couple modular units here. You've got some really old sheds, a couple tin yep. cans, as I call them, which yep. is really not in acceptable state for this industry. So we're working hard at that. And I want to let the community know we are also starting September, October, November, December, at least four times before the end of the year. And we'll let you know the dates. Ross and I will be down here. We'll set a time and a day where you can come down and take a tour mm -hmm. and see what we're looking at because this is a big undertaking and a big project. The good news is the board of directors has been down here. Buildings and grounds has been down here. Master planning committee has been down here. Unit captains have been down yes. here. So we've had a lot of groups down here um, taking a look around and checking things out. So I'm excited about what's coming yes. up and we'd like to get this going as soon as possible because it'd be great for your team and of course the community as well so stay in touch with that so ross thanks for joining me today as always it's great and a couple upcoming yes. events we've got on the 18th of this month we have a, a cocktail class where you can come in and learn a little bit about mixology and make some fun drinks you may want to be there, Ross. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and then on the 20th, between 4.30 and 6.30, up at the poolside pool, we're going to have a flamingo night. 
Should be lots of fun. They're going to have lots of toys in the That'll pool. Be fun. Some great thumping loud music yeah. and a little barbecue going. So please join us for that too. We'll see you next time on Java with John.